Yes, here we are with Greg Alton, and he's the National Director of the National Council of Asian Pacific Americans. And today you are at this uh, uh, Asian American uh, Leadership Summit. So how do you feel for now? I think it's really, really exciting. I think the Asian American community is one that we're really diverse. We have East Asians and South Asians, uh, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islanders, and and Kappa, the National Council of Asian Pacific Americans, which I represent, we're constantly working together to make sure that our communities are heard at the national level. And so this work is hard, oftentimes, finding that common ground with other communities. But we truly believe that this is the next step for the AAPI community. And so there certainly are challenges, uh, but today I think is, is exciting, like I said, because we have a gathering of you know, national leaders, state and local leaders, as well as people who want to support and fund this kind of work, which is crucial. And that's to say that the Asian American community, we occupy a lot of different spaces, and it's important for us to come together and really work together. You, you, you mentioned that coming together and working together, but I think that together is really great. Like Mr. Sandy Chow mentioned that uh, uh, fly alone, you just you cannot you know go farther. But when you fly together, you can go farther. But it's very difficult to work together, right? For all these years, you've been working in this organization, and what are the most difficult things? Well, yeah, I think part of it is the reality that many of our nonprofit organizations. The biggest challenge is just operating, finding the funding and the support to do important work, to connect with communities and make sure that our voices are heard. For us at Encapa, because we occupy a national space, sometimes our biggest challenge is sitting down with members of Congress and their staff, getting them to understand that the Asian American Pacific Islander community have a number of concerns when it comes to policy and they need to take that into consideration. And so finding that common ground and finding those ways that we talk to these members of Congress is always important. When you're talking to the Congress members, then the, what would you tell them? What are the most important things to you? I, I think the simplest way to put it is talking about Asian American and Pacific Islander visibility. In all of our national debates, whether it's health care or housing or education, um, people don't think about the Asian American faces that are involved in that. And so for us, obviously, for the community, it's easy for us to talk about how important health care is to us. But oftentimes, in Congress, that's forgotten. And so our very basic work is to make sure that members of Congress and their staff understand that as they're debating these national uh, topics or issues, that they make sure that they remember that Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders have to be a part of those solutions. Well, you have an Asian face, but I noticed that you have a last name, Alton, yes. right? So, I, I'm an adopted Korean. Uh, I was adopted when I was uh, five months old and grew up in Southern California with wonderful parents. and. Uh, you know, I've really found sort of my Asian American identity growing up, and that's really what led me to come to Washington, D.C. And in my previous life, I worked on Capitol Hill in Congress for a great member of Congress named Congressman Al Green from Houston, Texas. And it gave me the opportunity to really understand how Congress works. And so I'm very grateful for that opportunity and grateful to the congressman. But now in Ancapa, I'm able to use what I learned on Capitol Hill to really help the community. So uh, when did you start to get involved in the civic engagement and how did you start it? Well, I think, you know, coming to Congress, you, it's really hard to avoid being civically engaged because you are a public servant and you're talking to constituents and other, other people of different interests. And so I realized that once I arrived there, there aren't many Asian American members of Congress and there aren't many Asian American staffers who work for members of Congress. And so it was important for me to make sure that we built a pipeline so that other young staffers can come through and help make a Asian American voices heard in Congress. We're talking about working together and uh, why that's so important yeah. and what if not people are, uh, if, what if not working together? Well, I think in many ways we risk losing opportunities or missing opportunities to make real progress when we don't work together. I think communities of color have recognized that in order to really affect change and make things happen here in D.C., you have to work together and find those common ground to, to work together and find solutions. Thank you so much, Greg. No, Let's work together.